Orchard Park with two minutes left in a four-point game. Kirk Cousins back to throw on fourth and 18. He's given time. He wants Jefferson. Climbs the ladder. Oh, my goodness. Justin Jefferson pulled it in. The catch of his life keeps the Vikings' hopes alive. There's no way. We had a catch earlier this game by Stephon Diggs, one-handed going up. That has been replaced by Justin Jefferson's catch, especially with what was at stake. An all-timer for Jefferson, and now it's Thielen. After the play, from Cam Lewis. foul, unnecessary reference, defense number 47. That's a 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Cousins steps up, Jefferson inside the five. First and goal, Minnesota. Oh. Osborne in motion. Cousins is tripped. Second time today that one of his linemen has tripped him up. Cousins looking his way. Kirk Cousins back of the end zone and incomplete. Jackson with the coverage on Jefferson. Kirk Cousins, can he do it again? It's Jefferson again. It's a touchdown. The comeback kids have done it again. As Christian Benford brought him down right away. Knees down. Yeah, he's he's short. Is he on top of Christian Benford? Or did he get down? So the knee's clearly right down. Yep. It's just a question of where the ball is. To review. It is a completion, but the receiver is down at the one half yard line. It'll be fourth down and goal from the fourth. Buffalo has. Ask for a timeout. Timer, please reset the game clock to 57 seconds. 57. Buffalo is charged with their third and final timeout. Cousins to throw. Cousins has Cook. He dropped the ball. Dalvin Cook drops the ball. There is a flag down as well. Offside. Wow. Number 97. That penalty's half the distance to the goal. Replay. Fourth down. There's going to be one of two things, right? Cousins to sneak it. Can he break the plane? Is he in? No signal yet. Still waiting. He's short. They slam the door. The shoulders. The shoulder is going to be down. And that football's right there. I think it's short. He's going to move it late. He's already down. The field stands as called. It'll be Buffalo first down. Zero breathing room. He tries to sneak it. The ball is loose. Impossible. Do the Vikings have it? Scrambling for the ball. It is a touchdown on their last break. So you go with the with the quarterback sneak. Just a bad quarterback center exchange. I don't know if it was it looked like it got back farther than normal. The previous play is under review. Recovery number 54. Is he in the end zone or is it outside? So does Minnesota's offense have to come on the field and run another play? It sure looks like he's inside that goal line. On the field, stands is called. It is a touchdown, Minnesota. Timer, please reset the game clock to 41 seconds. With the Bills' offense today, it hasn't been a one-man show. It hasn't just been Stephon Diggs. Trying to get into field goal range. They're out of timeout. First play, Dawson Knox, a good one. Again, a 13. That's Diggs motioning across the formation. Allen looking the other way. Gabe Davis diving try. And catch to the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 20. Did he corral it? 
They're within about five yards of comfortable field goal range, and they're going to get it here. McKenzie looking for the sideline, and he's got it with 11 seconds down to the 25. And now you can think about winning this game. He started to go into the middle of the field, <laughs> and you're like, no! <laughs> this is amazing by Gabe Davis, he, and he does it. They hustled up to the line. He's going to secure it. He's going to get his arms underneath. Who is that a little bobble? Wow. Allen, given time, lost one to the end zone, and incomplete. There's a flag. It's going to go on the rookie booth. And he hooks it through. You're the visiting team. NFL Shield. His heads, red, white, and blue side, his tails. What is your call? Tails. Called tails. It is tails. You won the toss. You like to receive. Which way you want to kick? Which way do we want to kick, Buffalo? Okay. Has to come from the replay booth. And this is too big a play not to stop. And as you can see on this shot, Gabus, Gabe. Davis is going to the ground. He does get his knees down in bounds, but he doesn't maintain control. Delvin Cook had an 81-yard touchdown earlier today to trigger the comeback. And he's... Cook again. Delvin Cook gets eight. Then another monster day. Play action with his eyes downfield. Heaves it for Jefferson sideline. Did he get him down? He did. Into Bill's territory. Ball across his body. Here's the top of the route, leaning to the inside, gets outside of Dane Jackson, but this is all Kirk Cousins. This is phenomenal. He's got Ed Oliver bearing down on him. I don't even know how he got enough on that. I don't... Cousins in trouble. That one flutters. That was a backwards pass. Cousins into traffic and incomplete. Flags fly. Christian Benford covering Justin Jefferson. It's yard line with a fresh set of downs. Here comes Delvin Cook. Cook cuts it back. Delvin Cook a first down to the two. Cousins steps into it. Wants Jefferson and has him. First down and goal for the Vikings. It's Delvin Cook. Pump. On second and goal. Cousins looks to throw. He is set back in the 15. Third down and goal. Cousins in zone. Incomplete. Vikings take the lead. He's in trouble. Josh Allen keeps it alive and runs for a first down. 46. Allen given time. Coverage downfield good, so he's going to do what he does. Runs again. Lowers the shoulder again. Inside the 35. Trying to win it here. Here's Diggs. Stephon Diggs died a minute and a half. Allen lets it go. In zone, break it up. Second and ten. Allen steps up and throws. An interception. Patrick Peterson. And in this heavyweight bout, the Vikings with the knockout blow. The Vikings win. in overtime and I don't know what he sees he's got him underneath Th there's no reason to make that throw that that is the fourth red zone interception in the last two weeks for Josh Allen in the last two weeks for all his brilliance on this day he threw for 329 yards and ran for close to 100